Nerds and cheerleaders have been depicted as enemies, but what if they were the same? We sent Fig to find out. The infrastructure that surrounds us is built to be stable and safe, withstanding constant forces like gravity, as well as forces that can change, like wind or traffic. These fundamental forces don't just affect skyscrapers and bridges, but also the occasional human pyramid. To find out how cheerleading and science work together, I'm visiting Altamont Springs, Florida to meet Morgan Yost, a programmer, roboticist, and pro cheerleader. Both my parents work for NASA, and so the topics at the dinner table were constantly about astronauts and the universe. All of these cool conversations about outer space led me to go to school for engineering. In college, Morgan continued cheer alongside her studies. After graduating, she became a professional cheerleader for the Denver Broncos. Now, she's not just a robotic software engineer. She's also a member of an elite group called the Science Cheerleaders. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Fig. Welcome. Thanks for coming out. All right. Thanks for having me. So tell me a bit about what the science cheerleaders are and what they do. The science cheerleaders is over 300 women nationwide. Wow. Professionals in STEM. Yeah. As well as professional cheerleaders. How do you apply some science to being a science cheerleader? Physics is very dominant in cheerleading. Ah, okay. If you can understand physics, you can understand how to build a stronger pyramid. You could understand how to throw your flyer higher. You can understand how to spin faster, right? Physics is totally in everything. Today, the science cheerleaders are coaching the Lake Brantley Pop Warner cheer team. Together, they're showing me how cheer relates to the engineering fundamentals like the static forces that act on skyscrapers or homes. In cheerleading, we need to understand static forces when we do stunts, like a half. Whoa, okay. And there she is. <laughs> wow. Statics is a type of physics where there's no motion. Everything is stable, your buildings aren't falling down, and your cheer stunts aren't falling down. The ladies are axially loaded. The force is traveling straight down through their bodies as opposed to in bending or shearing or twisting. In axial loading, the force is placed along the center axis of a structure, like the straight columns of a building or the straight legs and bodies of the cheerleaders. And one good way to transfer weight to axially loaded columns is with triangles. Triangles are great because they don't shift and rotate either. They're very strong because they're larger at the base and smaller at the top. Triangles are the most rigid and stable shapes used in construction. Under pressure, other polygons can rotate at the joints and deform, but triangle joints can't rotate without breaking the entire structure, which keeps them rigid, and pressure on one corner of the triangle will be evenly distributed down the sides. Now I bet you'll see a lot of triangles in your house, in your bridges. A lot of these structures are using triangles to be strong. So now I want to demonstrate a little more of an advanced stunt. Okay. This one's called a full. You'll see that wow. she's all the way up at the top of the arms. And oh, I'm actually seeing some bending. Ladies, let's try some axial loading here. So by straightening out those knees, they're taller, way more stable, and there's more triangles than the last structure. Oh my goodness, so good, that was so cool. <laughs> this one's called a pyramid. Our top flyer is balancing on one leg, and she's using teamwork and triangles to stabilize herself. That's a very strong structure right there. While static forces are important, cheerleading is also full of dynamic forces that change direction and position, like in this basket toss. Wow, oh, cool. <laughs> is there a way that we can make that even bigger? We totally can, but for that, we're gonna need an equation. Force equals mass times acceleration. Okay. Acceleration is always gravity. Gravity is always the same. The thing that we can change in this equation is force. So in this group, I actually have an extra base. What do you think is going to happen with more force? I'd imagine that our flyer might go even higher. You're totally right. <laughs> but let's prove that theory. Ladies. With more force, there was a little more height with one of the basket tosses. Exactly. It's been incredible seeing how you're applying physics to cheerleading to make the sense cooler. I'm glad you had fun, but we're not done quite yet. We have one more surprise for you. We're making you an honorary science cheerleader. Oh, thank you so much. This is amazing. After a quick costume change, I'm ready to cheer. 
We're, We're on, on a mission to be unstoppable. Science cheerleaders show us possible. Let's go science. Go If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.